good enough for government, Mark. Hello, with the side entry. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your favorite garage dwelling Sarah here with another Mr. Dose video. Hi, for all you new folk wanna get caught up, there's a playlist right up above my head that will get you caught up on the MR2. For everybody else, see that pile of parts over there? That means your girl's gonna put in some work today. In the last video you saw I did an upgrade of the cooling system on my project Audi TT. And now it's time for the MR2 to get the same treatment. So what I have right here is a new Mishimoto aluminum radiator as well as a set of dual cooling fans and the unmarked brown box is a new AC condenser because if I'm gonna take all this stuff out, I might as well replace the AC condenser. It's the original one from 1991 in this car still. Where are you? Where are you? Can't wait to do the final detail on this car. Final polish once I get my wheels in. I get my tires still though. I hope my armpit's not sweaty. This would be really awkward. Hopefully this is gonna be a lot easier than it was to do on the Audi. I think it should be. And by the looks of it, it looks like I can do everything from the top on this car. I just pull these brackets and then I can clean inside here, even though it's hidden by a big piece of plastic. Well, this is gonna be a peach. Oh, geez. Why is my hair so crazy? See if I can do this without breaking these plastic clips. They're like almost 30 years old, so there it is. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Thing's 30 years old and it didn't crumble into pieces when I took it apart. There we go. Socket. Two more brackets. Uh, what else do we got going on under here? Oh, right. That's it? Yeah, buddy. That was so easy. When you want F yeah spec clean hardware, but you're, you're on a budget, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can clean up the factory zinc plating on this hardware. Apple cider vinegar. Quick pro tip guys, if you're married, do not grab your wife's organic apple cider vinegar to clean hardware. I kind of hate myself right now for doing that. Probably would have been cheaper just to buy new bolts. Oh well, it's all for YouTube. Almost. Is there something on this side? I should probably go put some gloves on to do this. Oh, refrigerator. Come on. Trying to do this without slicing my arms to crap again. Just had them all cut up the other day. All right, all I got left is these two hose clamps up here, and I sh oh, in the sensor, and I should be able to pull this out of here. These are going to be hard to take off. I bet you these are the original hoses from 1991. Come off your hole! <sighs> oh, don't make a mess. Come on. Out you go. Ha. Got it. See if I can get this guy off. There we go. Now you come out of your home. And there you go. Old AC condenser, old radiator, 
and old cooling fans. In case you guys are wondering, there was no refrigerant in the system. There hasn't been a charge on this car since I bought it, so I didn't have to worry about letting stuff go into the atmosphere because there was none to let go. Anyway, I got it all out of there. I'm gonna clean this in the morning. It's already nine o'clock at night, so I'm just gonna continue this. Manana. That means tomorrow, right? Or does that mean the morning? No, hablo espanol. <laughs> and it's the next morning, so it's time to get my butt back to work. Now that I got everything out, it's time to unbox the new stuff. What you see here is a brand new OEM Denso AC condenser that is a direct factory replacement. And then the radiator and fan setup was sponsored by Mishimoto, so I have to give a huge shout out to them because anybody that supports your girl deserves support back. I'm really impressed though with the quality of this dual aluminum fan and especially the radiator too. It's really pretty. It's too bad you won't be able to see it. It's going to be hidden behind the AC condenser and tucked away in front of the frunk. 10,000 likes on this video and I'll drink this stuff. I'm just joking. Oh, this is really nasty. Kinda excited to see how this hardware turned out though. It doesn't have that gold zinc look to it anymore, but it looks like a brand new bolt. Dirty, clean. Oh my god, that thing's really in there. Holy crap. Ah, there we go. I started letting my OCD get out of control and I've been cleaning like everything that I'm about to put back in here. So I cleaned up the rubber grommets right here that go from the factory radiator and I'm transferring them over to this new one. Here goes nothing. Try not to ding this up too much. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I don't have much, there's not much flexibility to get that on there. This is gonna be a real treat. I may end up having to take these little plastic pieces out of here. Day. This thing's definitely harder to install than it is to remove. That's for sure. I don't want to totally screw myself <laughs> by hooking up those two coolant hoses because it's going to make it really hard to move that radiator around. So I think I'm going to drop this guy in there first. It's so pretty. Look how nice and black it is. It's so nice looking. Gently. This is like a really not fun jigsaw puzzle. I hope I didn't put this in backwards. I think this is how it goes in. I think. Hello. <laughs> you thought I was gonna come through that door, didn't you? Or not. Anyway, it's day three in this video. I had to stop filming abruptly yesterday because I injured myself. I, long story short, I was lowering the radiator back out of the car again because I was trying to get these two little plastic air deflector pieces to fit next to where the radiator goes because the radiator is bigger now and they don't fit exactly the way they're supposed to. So I was dropping the radiator back down and it fell and sliced my ankle open and then I bashed my elbow and I started crying and that's when I knew I was not going to film anymore that day. I left off yesterday with just getting the radiator back in here and I connected the two hoses and dropped the AC condenser back in there with a face full of tears and an ankle full of blood. <laughs> Now the last step is for me to get these fans mounted on the car and what I want to try to do is take these plugs off the factory fans, the factory Toyota harness and I'm going to depin them and install them on here instead of using these quick disconnect things. I don't, I don't want that. I want the factory Toyota harness.
This is really difficult for me to admit, but I think this plug is kicking my butt. I've never had an issue where I couldn't de-pin something. Usually I can do it just with one of these, but I can't get this one. And I think I'm gonna mangle the inside here of the plastic, too bad trying to pry these little tabs up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut it because sometimes you need to cut it. My Toyota harnesses on the Mishimoto fan. I really wish I could have deep pinned this. That would have been the ultimate proper way to do this, to just have a nice clean wire with no splice, but it's good enough for government, Mark. Lined up right there, right there. If you guys are, it's kind of like a, a mustache. <laughs> you guys are wondering if I've messed up any fins on the new radiator yet? Yes, I have. There, I got some bolts in it. Now it shouldn't fall again. Luckily it didn't do anything when it fell. And this is why it's hard doing things with one person. These type of things happen. Great. It didn't hurt anything. All right. Oops. There we go. That guy and that guy go there, but they're dirty, so. It's all back together except one last thing. If you can see down inside there in the center of the screen, there is the connection for the AC condenser where a bolt threads all the way through to connect the fitting to it. Problem is, in order for me to be able to thread that thing into place, I need to pull the front bumper off. I've tried a hundred different angles and I cannot get my hand in there to get the bolt started. So that, and on top of it, I also go, need to go borrow a tool to bleed the air out of the coolant system on the car because this car is horrible trying to bleed the air out of it. I already learned that when I pulled the engine on the car and had to put it back in there. It's impossible to bleed the air unless you have like one of those vacuum tools. So. Um, there'll be a, a second part to this video, but there'll be some other stuff, some more parts included into that since there's not much work left on this process. So it looks so much better looking through the front bumper, not seeing that nasty bent up grill of the AC condenser that was in there before. It's all nice and black and uniform looking now. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another. Bye.